though, for, for Marvel, though. Why didn't they just, you know, if they wanted female empowerment, why didn't they give us a Nebula origin story? Because she would have been so fitting in this story. Because That's guys, actually, yeah. You guys all right. read the comics, right? That's and, all and, the stuff. And that Nebula would have been and, dope. And so you I know did. what happens in Infinity War, in, in, in the Infinity Gauntlet with Nebula. So, I mean, I think it would have been perfect for this situation. They could be setting up for that. You it never know. They haven't, they, we haven't seen it yet. There's so many rumors of how this movie is going to end from, like I said, from Galactus to um, the other evil people you guys were talking about last week to Nebulous. We don't know how it's going to end up. How many things tied off? And then you also got to put in consideration, though, the, the difference between what would look good on the big screen and what wouldn't. Like the all-knowing being, I forgot what his name is. He's a big head with eyes and a mouth and shit. Yeah, that's what you guys were talking about last week. Yeah. And so, and so, and so like, no, and so like uh, the thing, you know what I'm saying, that's part of the whole, you know, Captain Marvel universe. It's a powerful, it's a powerful all-knowing creature, but that thing won't look cool on the on the screen. So, I've, so you got to you got to put into consideration to what how these writers has got to write something to compel people that are non comic book people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm doing. A yeah, problem. I get what you're saying. So, it's like people yeah. have a like they know of Captain Captain Marvel. Like you know, even you know, not knowing about you know, not even seeing the Marvel movie. But you ain't really heard of Nebula outside the Guardians of the Galaxy movies and stuff. So right, I, I understand it, what he's saying. Right, and yeah. so you have to, so you have to put in consideration is that the, who look comic book nerds is going to be there regardless. It's just like with video, oh, yeah, games. yeah. You, it's just like with with video games. We're going to be there when the when the next big big game or console or streaming or whatever the fuck is going to be. We're going to be there. You know what I'm saying? But for the casual. They have to be enticed by something and having something that looks like, you know, because, I mean, if you think about it, if you did bring Warlock in, it's, to some other people, it'd be just another guy in tights coming in, even though his story is compelling as fuck. But it's still the thing of it, what mm -hmm. where you want to get grab another audience that that may be really interested into the know, I, we, we, Yeah, but we could have done that with Monica Rambeau and, and, and we could have also had a, a, a so black right. female led character Nicole. that actually in the comics well, uh, I think she, she, even, hold on, she, even, she even led the Avengers in the comics at one point. Mm -hmm. uh, Carol Danvers never had led the uh, Avengers. Um, that's the thing. Like, and, and she Kevin actually did. He's already said that Carol Danvers uh, is going to lead the Avengers. I need to correct you on I, that. Though. I don't know about this, man. Carol it, Danvers did lead, lead the Avengers. You also, got to keep in mind that they said that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is its own universe, so they can kind of matter of fact after Civil War, anywhere they see fit. Yeah, bro. After Civil War, the, Carol Danvers you know, led the Avengers. Its own universe, so they can twist it, but. Yeah, I, think we got it. I mean, I, I see what you're saying, but that that, that would be a good move. But the whole thing, you know, how they change stuff and they doing things because, you know, like certain people, they want to like, you know, say put an infamous on infamous on right now. And then, you know, say later on change. So they're not running with the same MCU background. So that's why people people get a big uh, misquote of they want to see when they put it to the big screen that they follow behind the guidelines of the comic books, especially the ones they say canon. They get pissed off if you betray the canon. But the MCU is like its own universe. So anything that they do and people that they bring in, you just gotta you just gotta take it like off uh, like a flashpoint type issue. Well exactly you know, the whole difference in uh, you know the whole background. So I, I don't get really upset about certain little things. I just want to see the different way they gonna bring it. Like okay I understand that um that like Monica Rambo and um uh, what, what was uh, what's, what's the mama name? Maria. Maria. Maria Rambo. I know how um you know saying their relationship was and how you know say I I you know say I know how she was looking up to her father, but I know that through this timeline they trying to show you from a different you know saying a different perspective and a different angle so they could bring you know just a different variety to the you know saying to the table and see if they could bring to the twenty first century. But you know some things they gonna miss on. I mean they're not gonna be perfect and that was like like how you said that was oh, yeah. they, they missed. They, they, they you want to hear, one of, the, you wanna hear one of the dumbest, the one of the dumbest uh, plot points in this movie that I, I think is just it, it, there's a huge, huge, 
huge hole there. Um, so the supreme being, when you go see the supreme being, you see the person that's most close to <coughs> Excuse you, me. right? Which, honestly, it was kind of weird that they showed Wendy Lawson as, you know, Captain Marvel's closest person. It should have been Maria Rambeau that she was seeing. Yeah, I think they worded it wrong. That's what they kinda, mean. That was kind of wrong, dude. They were, that's why I'm saying this movie was written terribly, dude. They should have been a person. You feel like they messed up her. You don't mind the minor tweaks, but they kind of messed it up to where it's almost like she can be her own, uh, a whole other different character. It, it's I think like they the, rushed it. I yes, think they, they rushed did. it. I agree. They, they rushed, rushed this movie big time. It was like a filler in between in the Marvel world because they I, that's what all I think it is. They could have introduced her slowly in the beginning of the next Infinity War, like somewhere right at the beginning. Didn't even have to have a backstory. Just what? did a quick intro and just quick explanation why she's there. They didn't have to do the movie. Well, this is the thing, though. This is the, we we got to get back into now the reality of what's going on, and that is that these contracts are almost up for some of these actors. So, yeah. so they got to get yep, ready yep. to get to phase two. You know, Robert Downey's gone. Uh, Chris Evans is gone. Uh, I think, I, th I think Thor is going to be gone too. Um, and then they saying that I think Chris Pratt and Pratt's going to come back, especially now that James Gunn is, uh, is back on board for the guardians. I think he'll, he'll resign for a contract and also do it to place his Hulk. His yeah, contract, he's not. So, yeah. So, so, so they are, they got to get these people out of here and start imp implementing the next phase so they can, so they can start getting people familiar and excited about, you know, the, 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 the new people. So, and the people that, that's still there, like Ant-Man and Wasp and, and, and then, you know, a couple others, but that's another thing to it. So yeah, the movie could have been, you know, maybe it'd been rushed or whatever, but. Yeah. Oh, Cumberbatch ain't going nowhere. He yeah. loves it. He loves it. Oh, of he course. Ain't, he ain't <laughs> yeah. Do you guys want to get into the whole X Men?